So first one, number one, most important thing to get right in our strength and power program to maximize your finals preparation, and that is intensity, i.e. Uh, maximizing how much force we're producing. So I'm going to share my screen and show you our program and just an example of our strength and power program. These athletes on this program, their main goal is not to put on size with their gym program. It's to, to maximize their maximum strength, i.e. How, how strong they feel in the contest and their explosive power, like their first three steps had to break away their speed, their ability to cut like, to their lateral speed, and of course their fend-off power as well to be able to fend opponents away. So that's the goal for, for this program. Tip number two, range of motion. So this is the time of year to maximize our power production and our ability to lift heavy loads. We're actually going to reduce the range. So reduce the range on the box squat, reduce the range on the hand clean pulls, and this will allow us to lift faster and lift, lift heavier. A good example of optimal ranges will be where does the athlete feel most explosive if you're doing it for like a box squat? What's the range of motions they would do when they're doing like counter movement jump where they're trying to jump as high as they can? That's a good example of, of where we're, we're trying to go with it. So you'll ultimately be able to lift your heaviest with this with, while still maintaining the technique. It's lighter work uh, on the body, obviously not as demanding by reducing the range of motion. So you're sort of getting two birds with one stone. You're stripping the body from overall load. It's a lot easier globally on the system, but then you're really allowing it to express higher forces. Tip number three, we want to reduce the volume, all right? So as you'll see, a lot of these drills, it's not like we're doing sets of 10 to 15 rep ranges. They're all anywhere between four and typically eight reps. Our strength and power exercises will be typically three to five reps. Our resilience exercises like for groins, balance work, or hamstrings, quads, so where we're working on trying to mitigate injuries, that's where we might get into maintaining a bit of that strength endurance. So like as you see here in the Copenhagen, we've got eight reps. Um Whereas all the power exercises and load exercises, it's really typically three, four, or five reps. Right, so good thing to take into account: reduce that overall volume, which reduces the fatigue. And then, as long as we're maintaining that and increasing the intensity, we're still going to be moving the needle on that strength and power stimulus. And then number four, play around with contrast. Like I said, allows you to be more time efficient. We don't want to be spending athletes shouldn't be in the gym for any longer than like forty-five minute sessions. And that includes like some prep exercises and perhaps some stretching at the end uh, or some foam rolling, any recovery type work. So contrast can be a great way from it's time effective, um, but also as we know with potentiation and priming, you're by able to lift something heavy, then lift up a moderate weight as fast as possible. So example here is like hang clean pull is our heavy. Trap bar squat jump, continuous jumps is, is a moderate weight. There might be like 40 kilos on the trap bar. And we're moving it as fast as possible by jumping as high as possible continuously. And then our overspeed, so explosive movement, being able to focus on high velocity is a band around the rig and you're pulling that bar right down so it's got high band tension and then jumping as high as you can. Okay, so that's our overspeed squat jump.